Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Ferris episode with J Wad on Just Cause 3, finding out that cars, well, I say cars, vehicles, and a train line have some problem. Uh, for whatever reason, if you manage to roll a vehicle over, onto this particular surface, it doesn't react as you would expect. It kind of bounces around. I mean, I've seen all sorts of weird things happen with trains. It's as much fun as the trains and vehicles in general on Just Cause 3 are. They were a bit glitchy. Uh, in fact, Just Cause in general is a bit glitchy. Fun, but but quite funky. Um, this is just this is a new one uh, that I haven't come across. Uh, apparently, the plane is even better than the vehicle, than the whatever, APC, for bouncing around upside down. Um, there is also a fight. The authorities have come to investigate. Not really the player. They're just sort of investigating the area. I was half hoping. Well, I was hoping a train would come through and hit this while it was spinning around to see what would happen. Uh, unfortunately, the plane just bounces around on its own before it does eventually fall through the floor. A train does turn up, but it's too late to do anything about that. Uh, you and up next on Forza Horizon Five is driving an escort Cosworth. And this is the vehicle that predates the weird bouncy Exocet because, well, it does a similar thing. When it hits the ground hard, it bounces randomly. Only this one manages to do one roll and a second roll over two sand dunes in a row. It's an impressive jump, an impressive sort of sequence, and a good, like, could have been slightly smoother on the landing, but still, you couldn't do that one better if you tried, really. Uh, Blooper up next on Beam NG Drive is tackling a rally stage. Now, we see on the dirt games the many times you roll a rally car and land perfectly on its wheels to carry on. That's fairly common on dirt. It's much less common that you get away with it so nicely on beam. You've normally bent something or broke something quite severely in all of that, but uh, that's probably the closest we've seen a vehicle to get away with it uh, in that kind of manner. Skull, though, is on dirt rally, finding out you don't always get away with a roll and land. <laughs> It wasn't even a roll. The Porsche goes sideways onto the bridge, and as it hits the bridge, I think the front splitter digs in, and the game just freaks out and decides the car should be upside down. Uh, Evoke, up next on Cyberpunk, has got a weird problem going on with their vehicle for whatever reason. Despite the fact that it's... I don't think it's moving? Uh, if it is moving, it's inching tiny, tiny bits. Um, if the player goes near the car, they kind of just fall over. <laughs> or going in the front end, they just... The, constantly falling over so uh yeah that's uh, that's helpful a quite over dramatic uh, character we've got going on there uh, we move next on to f1 2020 with a big shunt between two of the mercedes vehicles uh, i believe it is bottas at the uh in sort of second place at this stage is uh, looking to overtake the player gets it wrong loses the back end we've seen a few times actually with the ai is just kind of losing the back end and go for a silly spin and this time uh, hamilton has nowhere to go can't avoid it and just plows straight into the back doesn't really make too much of an effort to avoid that one either way that's uh, both of the mercedes out of it and the racing point car gets some easy 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 couple of positions so yeah managed to smash into one another and uh, that can drive past without too much trouble there a uh, Stay Delicious up next on R Factor 2 with some indie cars when everything goes wrong up ahead. Big, big spin for somebody across the infield and, well, no one wants to lift. <laughs> the AIs don't want to lift. There is a couple of players involved in this, but uh, the AI is also no interest in lifting. Just everyone plow flat out into the wreck and see what happens. Hope for the best. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big shunt we have going on there. We move next to farming sim with everything going fairly well for i think the player at this point is just driving their vehicle everything is fine when they notice an ai worker has uh, stopped working unexpectedly okay that's not really what you want going on so they're tapping through the vehicles to try and find out what has happened to it uh, that that would be a problem yes it turns out the ai driver of the tractor was not really paying attention to train lines and uh, train versus tractor the train wins Yes, somehow that stuff is still held in the trailers. I'm not quite sure how that works. They are some magic, impressive trailers. Uh, however, the tractor is stuck, very stuck, wedged in a wall. You don't mess with trains. Don't mess with trains. Uh, Jimmy, up next on the long drive, is learning a different lesson in stuff not to mess with. So they're just looting uh, one of the restaurants. Now, many things can kill you in the long drive. Turns out the door, yes. The door can as well. Not rabbits, not weird glitchy physics, not cars flying through the air. No, no, just open a door on your face. Is enough to kill you. I did not know that. 
should probably be careful. Speaking of glitchy weirdness, Jacob up next is on the long try. Now this is the normal thing that ends in your death. It's not normally a door that ends in your death. They have a truck with a whole bunch of trailers that are not having a good time. The trailers are really, really not having a good time. Uh, they're, they're, I don't, sadly don't know what kind of started all of this, but they're floating around. The truck can't really move anywhere. Uh, this one here has... Uh, very much got unhappy. Uh, probably should have saved before going quite... Actually, it was an autosave, never mind. You probably have saved before getting close to this, because who knows when it's going to snap around. And the problem... <laughs> the trailer randomly pings about. The problem is there are two fridges in one of the trailer. And uh, the fridges can freeze physics, so you can store stuff in them, which is great. Uh, however, the fridges have managed to kind of merge together, uh, so the physics is all very, very confused with what's going on. There's, there's the pair of them. Um... But this has a knock-on effect of just completely screwing with all of the trailers. Those bits have just gone back up to the air. I mean, it's very brave trying to actually do anything with this. I feel like at this point, it would like I would almost be tempted to just abandon all the trailers and drive off with the truck, if I could, or unhook the trailers around the glitchy one and see if I could. Uh, it does eventually manage to ping itself free. Sadly, I don't see how it managed to get the uh, fridges free, but they are very, very pitched together. Notice how much calmer all of the trailers are now that's fixed. Uh, Black and Red up next on uh, VR Chat has got an aircraft and is trying to take off and gets the, a little too fast on the old taxiing. Manages to kind of half take off over a bump, over the grass perhaps. Either way it sends the plane into a big old spiral and the player off a cliff. Let's not work that one. No, <laughs> just, uh, just going to go as far as to say that one has that's not how you take off in a plane. Definitely Definitely not how you how you take off in, in one of those. I mean, it got into the sky briefly, but uh, you kind of want a little bit more of a flight than that. And finally, sticking with planes, we move on to a Microsoft Flight Sim. As they're heading towards a landmark, for whatever reason, the game decides to not let the player get too close to it. Nope, as we're heading into a little bit of investigate, it just pings the aircraft up into space into a wild... Uh, well, crash, well, not quite crash, but wild spin and now into a dive. Yeah, that wasn't quite the idea, was it? <laughs> Sightseeing doesn't normally end with you randomly pinging up into the, uh, into the sky, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video. As ever, if you have clips you'd like to submit to this series, you can via a Google form. There shall be a link to it in the description. All the rules and how it works can be found on there. That, though, shall be it from me. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a goodbye.